What is up guys, Coach Joe here at Balance Studios with the man, the myth, the legend, Ricky Miglaris. going to do a bunch of different videos today where he's going to be showing me some self-defense stuff, some uh, just moves for getting better, taking my white belt journey to another level with this guy. So it's going to be freaking awesome. It's getting darker too. You know what that means. I'm sweating. I'm doing something. <laughs> I'm getting ready to You're turn improving. it. You're improving. Improving pretty yeah. soon. Yes. I'll be there tomorrow. All right, so I've rolled with a good amount of guys in this last year. By far, the strongest grip I've ever felt uh, is his. Like literally when he grabbed me, there was pretty much nothing I could do. Um, and usually I can get out of that kind of stuff with, with my grip strength. So what do you have to say about that? Well, I was, like I was saying before, it attributes a lot to like, you know, just playing with the key, uh, training with the key, because <laughs> you constantly have to, you know, pull and push, but, in any of my workouts that I do, and anything that I do, always relates to how we become a better fighter. So a true believer into like ultimate strength is not the amount of weights that I put up in my particular, you know, experience in my particular field. It's core strength and grip strength. I right, dictate a lot of the grappling strength. So any kind of like hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'll see guys who can put up 500 pounds coming here but they grab me and then I whip him right to the ground. And then I'll see like a little guy who's like a plumber and all he was doing, you know, stripping, and he's got these grips, yeah. he's actually harder to deal with. Uh -huh. So throughout the years, you know, I'm like, huh, might be something to that. Yeah. And ever since I was a teenager, I mean, I'm 41 years old now, so I figured that in 20 something years, I'm just, yeah. not only just gaining the natural grip strength from training, but uh, going to the extent and actually physically training. Yeah. And I don't only do, this motion. So I was taught like a lot of times when I was working my abs a lot, because I was so told my lower back would hurt. So I was told a long time ago, uh, I think it was Steve Maxwell, he says anytime you work, you know, one extreme on one side, you have to be equally weak, you know, because your body's like a machine, it'll pull. So I thought about that same thing. I'm like people have grips only this way. So I also do outer work so I can like create yeah. muscles this this way, this way. And I rarely get fatigued. My whole body will be fatigued, but I'll be able to like hold on, yeah. which is bad. Let, uh, hold those suckers up real quick. <laughs> yeah, if you got here, come closer to the camera. If you can see, look at the difference in size of hands. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's like literally, you could feel it right away, like you're part primate, for sure. I feel, I, I, I got the 23 and me done, so I think it's- You found yeah, it? Yeah, it's coming. I gotta keep that under wraps up. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to give me some pointers. I'm always trying to learn, just trying to take one thing away from that, what just happened. So if you can give me any tips, pointers, what you saw, maybe things I did uh, okay, and things I need to improve on. Yeah, honestly, you did very well. Uh, the one thing I did notice you did right away, which I'm a big stick on, is your frames. You actually, I mean, you, 
you didn't have, you had the frame here by the neck, which I'm a big, uh, I'm a go-to guy. And then I wanted to work with you on where the other frame should go. Yeah. And just getting to your side and freeing one thing. The only thing I felt that you were confused about is like when you did have that push, you're probably used to benching people off you. Yeah, it didn't happen. Which is, yeah, and it's not because I'm stronger, obviously, it's not because, it's when you go to push somebody off, if somebody goes to push back into you, that's what you're used to, because that gives you something substantial to move. Yeah. Whereas a person like you, when you go to push, I go with it and I redirect your strength. So as humans, we're technically stronger this way. That's why they have the bench press. Yeah. But this way, yeah. you're weaker. Yeah. So when you push, I redirect, okay. come off. So, there, so where you fail there is, when that does happen, it's your job to arrange your body to where you're strong again, right. without using too much yeah. uh, strength. Okay. So my thing today with going with you is, I mean, your 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 positioning with your with your hands and your feet were good. It's just when I moved, you stayed in one position. So you gotta understand with jujitsu, the right move constantly changes. Yep. So when you're doing the right move a second ago, if I change it, it changes the dynamic of the fight, which is going to change right. The, the right move. That's what you do. So, oh. but but you did all right, this guy. I survived. Survived, and that's all we can do. I like. This frame here. Yep. All right, especially with guys like this. The other frame I like to be here too. Because even if you're smashing, so if you're on top of me, my frame here is not to push and use energy. Okay? Because you can smash me down, smash me down, smash me down. Yeah, and that's what I was kind of doing to you. I was either put, I was either trying to smash you down or I was moving your body this way, where now it's different muscle groups. So if I continue to push, I'm gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be weakened anyway. So for me, all it is is this movement. Smash me down. See how I do that? Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is I'm going right here. I don't care how much weight you do or what. There's not a machine in the gym that can build a muscle here. And that's, this is what's going to be your best friend. Because okay. from here, it's not me pushing straight up. It's me pushing here. So I'm kind of pushing off my fingertips to go right in your neck. Because if you're going face to face and I'm here and you're smashing me down, smash me down. You got it. Yeah, he's home here, watch it, you see that? Just that little bit, look at all, no, no, I'm not tapping, I'm just showing you all the weight that I just took off you, because now with this hand here, look how I can shove. Now I can boom, catch, catch, or put you back in the guard. And it's that little bit of weight distribution that I'm paying attention to you coming off, that's what's doing it. If I'm doing this, smash me down. If I'm just trying to put, there's no way I could push you straight up. I'm gonna lose too much energy, but if I do this, uh -huh, you feel you're, even though you're not off of me, but now I can move. Because look, distribution of weight is key. Where when you are smashing me, all your weight's on this hand, so I can't move. Watch, when I take you off of me here, look, see I move your arm out? I actually captured your arm here, and I created a tunnel for my leg to come into. Yeah. So that's the idea, and I allow people, that's why I went over the second round. I was going, yeah. I was like, come on. Yeah. I was trying to bait you with the head and arm, Yeah. but you weren't really going for it, which you were smart that way. Because a lot of times the guys bait you with it. You go to head and arm choke, but you leave all your weight. And I can take you right off. Now, is that because I'm the strongest man? No, that's you. Yeah, yeah. That's because I understand distribution of weight, and I wait for a little bit. The little yeah. bit of weight can be your best friend or your worst enemy, and that's what I try to take advantage of. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just crazy just how something that minor, I could feel it once my chin came up, the rest of my body was forced to move. Right. In a way that I didn't want to right. do. Even though to the untrained eye, people are like, no, he's still on top of me, just trying to push his face. They don't see me not doing this. Yeah. They, they don't see me doing this. They, they figure I'll push it. Yeah. But just that little bit. People think like, oh, Rick's so strong and do this. Yeah, I am, but at the same time, I can't you can't be strong for 10 minutes. Like those that, that's a, that's an attribute and and, 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 a, and a perk for little adjustments. Yeah. Right? I always use that analogy uh, of like race cars. Yeah. Like, what's it called, nitro? What's the thing that, poof, Yeah, nitrous, yeah. So I figure like nitrous is like the, that little spurt. Uh -huh. They don't use it all the time. Yeah. So it's effective, strength, anything's available. Whether it's, whether it's strength, speed, flexibility, but nothing can be overdone in jiu-jitsu. It has to be specifically used, and it's gotta be used at the right time to be effective. So if, we can just do like a little segment of this. So yeah. if I'm in the hack, um, just for me, right, what would be on. some I, like tips you can give me? Like something I like to try to do is feet, arm. Really yes, I noticed you doing that. I love that. Um, Kamor is one of my favorites. And then uh, sometimes it's hard on you, but sometimes I'll try to get that yep. on your hook. Yeah. Um, so like, what would be something you can give me to maybe like enhance uh, me in this position? Yeah, just the ability. So I'll do. I have my bad knees here. Yep. So 
So even, even if you're here, you like to use this frame, yes. right? So anytime I use this frame, you want to be aware of leg locks too. So if you're going Zach, you're very aware of this. Yeah. So you got to watch it because it's baiting here. So I usually I'll come here and grab. It doesn't matter. With the gi, you have a lot more grips and stuff here. Uh, one of my favorite sweeps is this, because I'm assuming that the guy's here like this, because everybody's used to doing this and this. I grab the opposite here. All right, I like four finger grip, okay? And I'm not gonna try to force you, I'm gonna try to cause you to push where I need you to be. So from here, I grab here, and then uh, I wanna grab your skills. You okay? Yeah. So I'll have one and two. Yep. So instead of me like fighting you on this, instead of me doing this, I can't pull you on top of me. So once I'm here, I go to almost push you here. Okay. Right? So when you fight, don't let me push you. But yeah, see, I can't get up here. But when I see you coming this way, that's when I pull and come over and look, I can load you up. Now this is on my bad knee. Now look, I can pick you right over and look, this hand on the, on the leg guides and I kind of roll over here. Wow. Now I did that slow motion and it just shows the control you have in that move. Yeah. So, and it also proves my point of distribution of weight is key. Because I could have easily, if you didn't allow, if you allowed me to, just to pull you and load you up. Yeah. But that's not the case in a live match. Uh -huh. So a lot of this stuff, if you just do it without, you know, doing it in a live match, you're not going to understand the dynamic of the move. Yeah. Look at our reverse it, ready? <laughs> yeah, we don't need rewind. We got it. <laughs> Old school rewind. <laughs> we didn't have cameras. We had to rewind it ourselves <laughs> back in the day. So again, I'm doing four finger grip, right? You could start off with this. Just be well aware of any kind of foot lock you can do. And I like to grab the same side. So you do a cross grip, four finger, right here. As I come up, I'm looking to push. Now look, if you don't fight me with this, I can bump you off. I can make it very uncomfortable. Wow. So I'm selling the move by actually doing it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm pushing because I want that, I want your ultimate reaction there. So when I do this, I go to push, and then when they start to fight me, I'll go to push more just to get a little bit more. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna do this in slow-mo. I pull and I punch because I want your body to be like a forward roll. Right. So just be pulling, and I don't want you to post. So I pull and I punch, and then all your weight goes to here, which makes this light, so it's like a guy. That's why I was able to yeah. control it so much. So again, I go one. Now you can keep the knee in, or you can take it out. Sometimes I like to take it out, and I have them just roll. So as they come into me, I go one, boom, and then I roll, and then I kind of do a kick up with my back. Yeah. And then I'm renting this. Now when I control here, put your leg in there. If I wanted to start to pass, you know, I get my leg out, kick out, or if you have a good control, I can look the mount too. Wherever you want to end up from there. You got the sweep, and uh, you can control the top position from there. I like that a lot. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely.